Hello my friends. Ever since I saw Floki in Vikings having that cool uh, ring sheath for his axe, I wanted to have one. I wanted to make one. I thought it's very simple, I should be able to make it even though I have zero leatherworking experience. <laughs> and uh, this is the project I undertook this week. And I'm very happy with the results, so let me show you how I did it. First I went and bought a steel ring like that from uh, some uh, naval uh, equipment uh, store. And then I got, uh, I cut a scrap of, le of leather. Basically it was a piece of leather that I just cut square. You can see the, the, the pieces that uh, I removed. I used scissors, very simple method. Just made an outline and uh, just cut it with the scissors, with the deeper edge of the the deeper uh, uh, side of the scissors, part of the scissors, which cuts better because it's difficult to cut. Here you can see I'm trying some methods for uh, making the edges more smooth after the cutting because, let me remind you, I have zero leatherworking experience. I don't know about leatherworking. I've never done anything about leatherworking in my life except for uh, just uh, making some extra holes in belts and stuff and I just improvised a lot. I improvised. I know a lot of my technique will make uh, experienced leather workers cringe, <laughs> but well, I did the best I could with the experience and the knowledge and uh, the equipment I had. This is the punch that I had for punching holes in leather belts in the past. So that's one thing I had, but I didn't have too many things. These were some eyelets that I had gotten uh, for uh, using uh, with some kydex uh, sheath that I made in the past. Here I am improvising using that drill bit to enlarge the holes because the biggest hole from the punch was not big enough for the eyelet to go through. So I had to enlarge it with a drill bit. <laughs> Complete improvisation, as I told you. And uh, yeah, then afterwards I just uh, use the drill bit again to just uh, press the leather and uh, give it more space. Here you can see me mark the holes I need to make on the other side with the, the punch. And uh, here I'm making them. And this will be the, the way that the leather will fold in order to enclose uh, the ring. That's part of the... that gets the ring. And here, um, it wasn't easy to just, you know, kind of uh, whistle them through. <laughs> It was not easy. I'm using a, 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 a head of a, of a screwdriver just to, to push them, to push them in and give uh, enough space to the punch for the punch to roll uh, the, the eyelet. Here I'm uh, hammering it so that the eyelet uh, gets uh, secured in place. I'm doing the same thing on the other side, which is another bigger ring another bigger loop, which uh, will be where the, the belt will go in. Basically it's two loops, one is holding the, the ring and the other is holding the belt. And here you can see that I did it again, I used the eyelets, they are in place, and the item is pretty much complete, the scabbard is pretty much complete, and uh, now of course it needs some finishing touches, which was uh, one thing that I did is I put some super glue on the other side, because on the, the, eyelet, the side that the eyelets were thin, uh, the side where the eyelets were thin, I thought needed a little bit of securing. Maybe I was wrong, probably I was wrong, but you know, I just did it just in case. Uh, with this super glue, the eyelet is gonna be connected with an extra strong thing to the to the leather, so it's not gonna get off. And then I thought to, because that leather was very old and worn, I thought to use this kind of sponge that you have for the shoes to polish it a bit, to make it look nicer. And actually I was impressed with the result. I didn't think that piece of leather would look that good as, as it looked afterwards. Of course, you know, like I told you, I have no experience in leather working before. I would like to get into leatherworking at some point. I really like the idea of making items like that uh, on your own. I just didn't uh, undertake that <laughs> yet. Uh, so yeah, here I'm improvising again, some high-tech improvisations, because I have no, uh, uh, you know, normal paint or tools or whatever, whatever they use for what I'm doing now. So I'm just using a permanent marker <laughs> to to make the sides of the leather black. 
where, where I cut the leather, I wanted it to be black. I didn't want it to be, you know, this kind of pale grey, whitish color. So, I'm using a marker. It made sense to me, I went for it. And uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with the results. You couldn't tell that <laughs> some, uh, so somebody used the marker. Somebody was so unorthodox about that. And uh, here you can see the finished item after using the marker and after, you know, doing everything. This is how it is completed. So now was the time to try it. To wear it and try it out. Which is exactly what I did next. It goes very nicely into the belt. Then I'm securing the belt. I think I gained a little bit of weight, so yeah. But okay, I'm tightening it. And uh, yeah, you can see that I'm uh, putting it in place and it looks very nice. And I was very surprised at how nicely it worked. The, the axe is going in very well. It's very easy to, to, to slide the, the axe inside and to take it out. Uh, it happens with one move, very fast, extremely fast, and it's pretty secure. Uh, I tried doing some stuff like, uh, you know, some movement, some jumping. It's really, there's no chance that the axe is getting out of there. It's, it's really safe, it's really uh, staying in place. It goes in and out so easily, much easier than a sword. <laughs> and I was, I was extremely happy, I didn't expect it to be so good. I'm extremely happy with that item and uh, yeah, if you have an axe and uh, you are using it for camping or whatever, you can try it and uh, I think it's totally worth it. It's really nice, I think it looks cool too. It's much better than a leather scabbard for axes. So yeah, some more mo mobility tests. You can see I can even lif lift my knee without any obstruction. No problem, yeah. The handle goes up and down very naturally, it's not, uh, you know, blocking my movement in any way. It's getting on the side when I'm doing anything with my knee. So, that's it. Until the next time, I'd like to thank you for watching, be well, and take care.